We don't have to wait long, just until next year, to witness how justice will prevail and Russia will be constantly bombarded from the air by Ukrainian drones, Ukrainian expert and journalist Ivan Yakovina reported. The journalist is convinced that we have started mass producing drones quite quickly, which means that massive strikes on enemy military facilities will soon become the norm for them. Ivan Yakovina spoke about this in his latest video on the YouTube channel. The political observer delighted Ukrainians with his forecast. Ukraine is now gradually increasing its capabilities for delivering long-range strikes against Russia, both quantitatively and qualitatively. This area will most likely continue to develop, and if this development continues at least at the same pace as it is now, then in 2025, that is next year, and it is not that long before that, the quantity of strikes against Russian territory, I think, will grow into quality, and throughout central Russia, including Moscow and the Moscow region, air raid sirens will constantly sound, and some strikes will constantly be carried out. Russia will not be able to do anything against this simply because there will be insufficient resources. It will be very difficult, practically impossible for Putin to wage war in such conditions. Hitler got something similar when, in 1944 and 1945, essentially all of Germany was on fire due to constant Allied air raids. That is, airstrikes were carried out on various German targets. Ivan Yakovina emphasized. Recall recently Ukraine targeted the Russian capital in its biggest drone attack so far, killing at least one and wrecking dozens of homes in the Moscow region and forcing around 50 flights to be diverted from airports around Moscow. Russia, the world's biggest nuclear power, said it had destroyed at least 20 Ukrainian attack drones as they swarmed over the Moscow region, which has a population of more than 21 million and 124 more over eight other regions. At least one person was killed near Moscow, Russian authorities said. Three of Moscow's four airports were closed for more than six hours and almost 50 flights were diverted. Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov told reporters that the drone attack was another reminder of the real nature of Ukraine's political leadership, which he said was made up of Russian enemies. There is no way that nighttime strikes on residential neighborhoods can be associated with military action, said Peskov. The Kyiv regime continues to demonstrate its nature. They are our enemies and we must continue the special military operation to protect ourselves from such actions, he said, using the expression Moscow uses to describe its war in Ukraine. Washington and other European states are becoming parties to the war in Ukraine, Vyacheslav Volodin, the Speaker of Russia's Duma, the lower house of parliament, said on Telegram. All this will lead to the fact that our country will be forced to respond using more powerful and destructive weapons to protect its citizens, Volodin said according to him, Russia will consider the United States and its allies to be parties to the Ukraine war and Moscow will use more powerful weapons if the West allows Ukraine to use long-range weapons for strikes deep into Russia. Volodin said that the United States, Germany, France, and Britain were becoming parties to the conflict. All this will lead to the fact that our country will be forced to respond using more powerful and destructive weapons to protect its citizens, Volodin said. U.S. President Joe Biden said that his administration was working that out now when asked if the U.S. would lift restrictions on Ukraine's use of long-range weapons in the war. Sources told Reuters last week that the U.S. was close to an agreement to give Ukraine such weapons, but that Kiev would need to wait several months as the U.S. works through technical issues ahead of any shipment. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky is increasing his pressure on the U.S. to allow Kiev to strike deeper into Russian territory. Zelensky recently appealed to the U.S., Great Britain, France and Germany, we need permits for long-range capabilities and for your long-range projectiles and missiles. Washington has provided Ukraine with military aid worth more than $50 billion from 2022, but limits the use of its weapons to operations on Ukrainian territory and defensive actions across the border. If the West wants to defeat Ukraine, it must allow it to carry out symmetrical strikes against military targets deep inside Russian territory, said French military expert and air defense consultant Xavier Teitelman in an interview with Ukrainform. He added that in parallel with the authorization of strikes, the delivery of the necessary number of long-range missiles should be carried out to have an effect on a strategic scale for the course of the war.